We're Kurt and Audrey Reichardt, owners of Dogwood Acres Pet Retreat and founders of Caring Canines. And we have with us Rummy. He's one of our certified pet therapy dogs. We started Dogwood Acres almost 20 years ago with a very simple desire to create a place that an animal would actually enjoy going to. And Dogwood Acres offers sweets and activities and special treats and pool time and nature walks and basically anything you can think of doing with your dog, Dogwood Acres does. The concept behind Caring Canines came out of a very humble idea and our observation of the human-animal bond. There is so much research that speaks to what these dogs do for us. Uh, in terms of lowering our blood pressure, lowering our stress levels, increasing longevity and happiness. So this isn't something that we just came up with uh, because we, we love it. It's because it really works. It really is something uh, that makes a difference in humans' lives, these animals. The reason why Dogwood Acres was in such a perfect position to start caring canines is because we have a huge client base of people that already really do love their animals. The owner dog bond is the most crucial part of being a certified pet therapy team. And to become a certified pet therapy team, you do first of all just have to have a very special dog. So there's a lot of training involved and then there's a very rigorous test that you have to go through. These are very special animals. The motivation was actually from Lucy. I saw how um, she interacted with people when we were taking walks on the street and I saw how much people smiled so I was looking for something for me to do so it just seemed like oh let's do something together so it's been perfect. One of my visits we came in and Mary wasn't feeling well that day and I peeked around the corner and you were like oh hi but once Lucy came around the corner there was a huge smile on your face and it just, you was know, good? it was really good. That was a good day. <laughs> we like her. We like her a lot. And I, I know she likes us. I think it's um, our responsibility to give back. And I thought that this was a good way to give back to the community with my best friend. Brinkley spends an hour reading with the children. He has three kids that spend 15 minutes with him. The children get to choose their own book and then they'll just lay right here on the floor with him or with the dog and just pet him and read to him. It's been a really unique experience because these kids are a little behind on their reading skills. So it's very um, resourceful for them to be able to read to someone that's not gonna judge them. And of course the dog just lays there and gives them love. It's so great to see people's faces light up, whether it's in the hallways or patients' rooms, family members, everyone lights up when they see him. So even if it's for a minute or two, I love to see what he can bring and just give a few minutes of relief. The staff love him and it's amazing to see whether it's in the hallways or when I go up to a floor, the nurses love to see the dog and you know it's really nice to see how they can benefit from, from spending time with Tobin as well. It is extremely rewarding and I, I like to interact with people and I love that you know everyone looks at Tobin and wants to hear about Tobin and how I got involved. People are always very interested to know that I volunteer and that you know it's my dog, it's my time. And um, the little bit that I've been doing so far has just been extremely rewarding to see what he can really bring to everyone. 